I'm Chiara Bellosi and uh, I am the director of uh, Swing Ride. Uh, the film is a, a coming uh, of age uh, story and it's about uh, the, um, the warm uh, relationship between uh, Benedetta, that is a girl of, of uh, 15, and uh, Amanda, that's uh, a non-binary person of uh, 25. And uh, their, relationships, uh, their, their relationship uh, is like a sisterhood, a very important uh, sisterhood that um, allows to Benedetta to grow up at the last, uh, at the last of the story. And uh, about me, I, it's my second film. My first film uh, was uh, Ordinary Justice that was in Berlinale in 2020. And um, this is the second. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean Borbobak, and this time we are discussing the film Swing Ride. Hi, Kiara. Welcome to the festival. Welcome to the Teddy Award. We are very happy to have you here. Um, tell me a bit about how did uh, this project came to be? What was your starting point for it? Okay, first of all, uh, hello everybody. And uh, thank you to you very much. I'm very happy to be here in Berlinale again. And uh, uh, the start, the start of uh, Swing Ride was um, was um, a phone call with uh, Carlo Crestodina, that uh, that is uh, my producer, mm -hmm. who proposed me to direct uh, a screenplay he he had, the Tempesta uh, had, and uh, wanted to the, to to do to do a film, and so he gave him give me. Uh, the script to read and talk about, and so uh, I, I I read the script and I felt in love with uh, Amanda and Benedetta, and uh, and I say yes with great pleasure yeah. I <laughs> I do it, and so we start we started uh, with the preparation, uh, the casting. Uh, the meeting with the screen players to change something, and uh, and then we we start with, uh, with all the how, crew. Yeah, how did you find the main actors? Because those were like so such strong performances in the film. Yeah, yeah, they are uh, very young and uh, very talented. I think uh, we, we can say this uh, actors. Uh, Andrea Carpenzano, who plays uh, Amanda, um, arrived by the um, casting director, Chiara Polizzi, that had a great idea. And um, Gaia, uh, who plays Benedetta, uh, we search and find her uh, with the casting or um, street casting but not so much because with the covid it's not so possible yeah. uh, meeting uh, invited uh, uh, we searched her uh, in the school uh, in the activities uh, of the afternoon for the students she's uh, really 15 like benedetta is and uh, we met some uh, girls and uh, at uh, last we we, we chose uh, gaia Mm -hmm. In Rome, yeah. all uh, in Rome, because the story is uh, around Rome, not in the center of the city, but uh, yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah, tell me a bit about these characters, Benedetta and um, and Amanda, and how did you approach building them up as a character in the film? Um, Benedetta is a girl of uh, fifteen who lives uh, in an uh, in isolated uh, home uh, over a big grass and uh, she's um, she's something like out of her time she's not a contemporary girl she's also a bit late with uh, with uh, her age or uh, her or, or other teenagers yeah. uh, we, we know um, and so the place where she lives 
it's a little bit uh, out of our time and um, and she's alone she's uh, she's a girl alone she's an over white uh, girl and um, i think she she has no big problems with this but uh, the look uh, of her mother is a big problem about this yeah. and so it became a problem for benedetta and uh, and so she's a uh, and a long young girl who wants to, to find herself and be herself like she feels. And uh, Amanda is uh, another long girl. Uh, for me, they, they were two teenagers, also if Amanda is uh, 25. And um, she's alone. She's uh, a non-binary person. She lives uh, in um, Luna Park, we say it in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, we call it in Italy. And so she lives in a world that you can build uh, and uh, destroy from the evening to the morning. She's, uh, she's alone too. She, she has not relationships so strong. And so Benedetta, when th this is a story of a meet, of, uh, a meet the meet, between uh, yeah. Benedetta and Amanda. Uh, and so they meet between two um, solitudes, two, uh, two, two alone person. Yeah. And, um, and Benedetta is, um, is a new relationship for Amanda. She never had uh, a, relationship, a relationship like uh, this. And... Um, in the first, Benedetta is like uh, she fall in love with Amanda, but uh, real the story became uh, a sisterhood, a very um, precious sisterhood, sisterhood for both them. Yeah. And um, how we work it about on uh, the characters? Yeah, uh, you asked me. Um, with Benedetta, with Gaia. We work uh, uh, with her uh, um, to be to be more possible free herself mm -hmm. in yeah. playing Benedetta, and so she she had to um, to follow the story to follow the changes inside Benedetta, but uh, but with Benedetta but, but with Gaia in because Gaia. I like her very much because she's uh, strong. Mm. She's uh, like a baby. She has this face like a baby, but uh, she has a strongness very, very hard. Yeah. And um, and so she, she's precious like uh, Gaia herself. And uh, we worked on the character uh, mm, because Benedetta is more shame is is most shameless than uh, Gaia, for example. Yeah. And so we work with Gaia to remember her how she was uh, at twelve hmm. or uh, eleven. That were that was more similar to Benedetta than now. Yeah. And uh, with Andrea, we worked about uh, um, another teenager. Uh, we we. Spoke a lot uh, about um, some characters like uh, Puck, mm -hmm. like uh, characters of uh, Quentin Blake and um, Roald Dahl, mm -hmm. and uh, we spoke a lot about Lucignolo. That that is a character very important in Italy because he's a part of the story of Pinocchio, yeah. and Lucignolo is a child. Uh, who brings Pinocchio in the Paese dei Balocchi, the land of uh, plays, uh, where uh, an old man uh, um, um, transforms them, uh, all, all, the ch all the children, in donkeys and then sells them. So Amanda is not bad, it's not a bad person, it's uh, a wonderful person and delicate person. But uh, he is the Lucignolo for Benedetta because he opened her all the doors uh, she yeah. wants to discover, but she never tried to do alone. Yeah, absolutely. Um, was How did you um, went into portraying 
um, Amanda's gender non-conformity. I was very curious about that. That was obviously like very important to this character and also to the whole narrative, the whole story of the film. Can you talk a bit about this? Yes, I, I can talk about this, uh, but um, I don't know how to say it. In, in my vision, uh, in my point of view. Yeah. Uh, my point of view uh, was that Amanda was precious uh, like she is. Yeah. And so, uh, for me, never was a, a, a team, a, a thema. Yeah, I, theme, yeah. Okay. Um, how gender she is or she is not. Yeah. She is uh, Amanda and uh, stop. She, is, um, she, she was born man, but she, she is a woman. And um, she's a girl, not a, not a woman, but a mm. girl because she's uh, young and a teenager too, inside. And so um, it's, it's, it's not a team. It's really not a team. And, and Benedetta, Amanda, for example, uh, speaks about her always at feminine. Yeah. Benedetta uh, speak to her like a male, but then became her sister. And so, it's uh, it's like this. It's uh, Benedetta and Amanda. Only this. Yeah. yeah, this sisterhood was very interesting to see how it unfolded and how they really became sisters in yeah. in the film. But obviously, it was also a very complicated relationship between the two of them. Um, it had many ups and downs. At certain points, one could even say that it was somewhat toxic their relationship um can you elaborate a bit on on this on this very intriguing and complicated relationship of the two okay um i think that um, to 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 do this film i i taught a lot to my to to, to me when i was a teenager mm. and um and I think that uh, all the real important relationship in uh, my life, for example, yeah. uh, was um, few and really complicated. But uh, the complicated relationships for me are um, the most important things we, we can hope to have because they, uh, they, they make us grow up. And... Uh, not only grow up, but uh, discover what we are and what we want really. And so find our strongness. Yeah. And um, I, I don't um, call uh, the relationship between uh, Amanda and Benedetta toxic because um, I don't believe in toxic relationships i think I, I i believe in complicated relationships or in wonderful relationships and mm. often they are both complicated and wonderful um and also because uh, we worked about uh, we work on uh, amanda not like uh, an adult with uh, a girl yeah. but like um, something horizontal a, a relationship horizontal so for me, for example, at the end of the film, Benedetta uh, grows up and it's like she, she starts to be a real teenager and then a woman. And Amanda is like uh, a child. It's more pure in some way. Mm. He, he's more um, without the, fa the, the fancies, the, the face. Yeah. Then Benedetta is less strong. Oh, my cat. Oh, <laughs> he came uh, from the set. Nice. He was, uh, yes, he was uh, in the rubbish. In oh, the really? Set. Well, it's good that yeah. you took, uh, took the cat in. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, like, in a way, the two characters um, take quite different positions and quite different trajectories in the film. Um, Benedetta deals a lot uh, with family trouble, 
uh, with the confinement of this family that she lives in, especially the um, the difficult relationship that she has with with her mother, but as later we see, also the relationship with the father is not so simple and easy. Um, whereas Amanda seems to uh, live in really great freedom, but at the same time, that freedom also has quite a serious cost. Um, can you talk about these two parallel things that at the end meet together through this bonding of the two characters, but these two very different worlds in which they both have to struggle to, to some extent? Yeah, uh, I think that Benedetta um, needs uh, inside to open the door also with, uh, with a strong uh, act like uh, go away. And uh, she lives in this, in this family that it's not a um, particularly problematic family. Mm -hmm. It's not a violent family. Mm -hmm. But um, like often uh, happens in all families, the violence uh, there is inside. And um, we work, uh, uh, we work it with the actor uh, on this violence, like, uh, um, like we, we called it the violence at uh, level pasta shutta. The, the violence, uh, um, um, pass through the the um, food, mm. the pasta. How many pasta can Benedetta eat? How many bread can Benedetta eat? So this is the violence because uh, um, the real important uh, uh, thing was the view of the mother. It's uh, for me. It's uh, um, a film about uh, uh, some point of view. So uh, the, the view of the family on Benedetta, especially of the mother, is vertical. Mm -hmm. The view of Amanda is horizontal. And Benedetta needs to open uh, like this, uh, her view. Yeah. And, um, and she's like uh, someone who everyone around puts something on her head and um, uh, schiaccia and uh, press and, her down yeah, suppress her yeah and um, and she don't want so then she say no bye bye i go away and um, amanda uh, amanda was um, we we worked about the um, the story before of amanda we invented it and so we we said uh, as to each other, me and Andrea, that uh, she's uh, alone. Probably she grew up alone, and uh, probably uh, when she was a child, she lived with her mother, a mother that uh, doesn't uh, be able to to grow up her. But that her. love her because Amanda is full of love. It's not a person without love. So she had to had bring it somewhere. Mm. But she's alone. She has not uh, important relationship. Also in the world, she 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 hasn't them. She has only Benedetta. Yeah. And herself. Exactly. So, for example, uh, another w different way we worked about the two characters was that uh, Benedetta needs, we, we call it the gelato. Uh, so Benedetta needs someone who give her the gelato when she was sad, the, the ice cream, yeah. the, when she was sad to um, became happy. Amanda is a person that uh, is sad and give herself the ice cream to be happy. Yeah. So she's very quickly in, uh, in this uh, reaction. She's down and yeah. up, down and up, yeah. but also by herself. Right. Absolutely. All by herself. Yeah. It was interesting also to see how this relationship became a very, like a source of empowerment for, yeah. for Benedetta. Uh, she really comes to be 
her own by the end of the film. Um, it was very interesting to see because Benedetta was very silent, very observant in the film, always like positioning herself a bit in the background, on the sidelines. Um, but at the end, she, she becomes a very strong woman who is able to make decisions for herself, who is able to make choices, who sees what fits, what doesn't fit for her, who is able to stand up for herself, which she wasn't necessarily able to do in this relationship with the mother, for instance. Can you tell us about this journey that Benedetta takes in this film, like from where she starts and where does she end? Yes, it's, it's like that we, we start the film with the, uh, the shoulder of Benedetta. We follow her uh, by uh, behind. And at the end, uh, she, she has this uh, big face with a big smile, uh, we can see very clear. And um, she's, um, she, she, grow up, she grows up um, with all the experience. She, she put herself, uh, she, she take herself and put herself, because she decides this yeah. uh, in the middle of the world. And, uh, and she has to survive this. And she discovered that uh, she can survive uh, also with the, her only um, strong, strongness. She don't, uh, at, at least she, she discovered that uh, she don't need someone to, um, to live also the, the ugly thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. and can happen to a little girl, but she can do it uh, by herself. And, uh, and this is uh, what uh, really happens in, in life. We are uh, with many right. relationships, but uh, we are alone fundamentally. And we have to, 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 to strike, uh, to strike uh, alone with all the things that happens to, to us. And she discovered that she can do it. This is the big discovery. I can do it and uh, I'm not scared because uh, um, everything can happen. I'm here and I can, uh, can uh, look can... it and uh, resolve this. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much, Chiara, for, for oh. this very heartwarming and, and, and sweet movie and also for this very lovely interview. I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to you.